And this is a silicon controlled rectifier circuit. Let's walk through this circuit and see how it works. We're going to use conventional theory. So holes come out of the positive side on the voltage source. They cross over S1, that is switch 1. They enter into the motor and exit the motor and arrive at N1. N1 is node 1. They rush forward towards S2, but oh my goodness, the bridge is up. The switch is up. We can't get across. What do we do? They go back to N1, and they head downwards towards the SCR. A stands for the anode of the SCR, silicon controlled rectifier, which I'll just call SCR from now on. This is A, the anode side, C, the cathode side, and G, the gate. So the holes scooch on down towards the anode, try and get through, but they can't because the gate is shut. For this gate to get open, a charge has to be placed on this gate, and then up it goes. But there's no charge on this right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to close this gate. So I now close the gate. The holes over here, they can't get through the SCR. But all of a sudden they sense that this S2 switch is closed. They rush up here across the S2 switch through the resistor that cuts down the amount of current that can get through here. And just enough gets through to hit this G, this gate, and the gate opens. As soon as that happened, all of the holes over here realize, oh my goodness, a huge tunnel has opened up here in the SCR. And they all rush down here and go through the SCR. It's an avalanche through the SCR. It blows past the cathode down here and all the way back to the negative side of the voltage source. And now this circuit is running. Holes are coming through here, around and through the SCR, and back to the voltage source. What about the S2 switch now? This guy's status of closed or open now is no longer even important. It can be open or closed, because when G got hit by the current, it opened up and became a latching device. So the gate on the SCR is going to remain open. And that's called a latch. So I open up gate S2. And the circuit just keeps running. It doesn't stop. Why? Because the gate doesn't drop. It's latched open. This guy's open for good. Until you shut the power off over here at S1. But until then, this motor turned on by the silicon control rectifier switch is going to run. This is George Bull. Please rate and share this video. Good luck.